Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Today I am taking part in the Here's Your Crown Women Supporting Women. I'm the host and so is Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. And I'll come back to that in just a moment. Let's get started. Okay, I'm taking this board and I'm going to paint it with um, Folk Arts chalk paint in the color Adirondack White. Now I only put one coat on this because I'm going to be painting over the top of it and I just wanted a base color so that the the brown is not going to show through. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint that and then we will get to the next part. Okay, now that that is done, I am taking um, the chalk paint in the color Crystal from Waverly and I completely cover the whole thing with that color and then what I'm going to do is this is um, vinyl from BB Craft and I printed out um, some words as well as a butterfly and I'm going to be placing that on here in just a couple of minutes. Um, I was going to do it right then, then I thought, no, I've got to finish the other part first. So once I do get it um, cut, I'm actually going to, am I really going to do it now? No, I, I think I'm weeding it, but I set it aside because I'm not ready to place it on this board yet because um, it's not been finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this part. And the wording says, never hide your wings. And then, of course, it's going to be a butterfly. So, like I said, once this is done being weeded, it's fairly easy to do. Um, I just have to be diligent with it and not go too fast or I end up losing pieces of my design or my letters. So I'm just weeding out the centers of the words and then I'm going to set this aside and finish uh, doing the actual board and getting it prepared. And I was just doing this while it was drying because I didn't, I had time to dry it. So yeah, and this is a beautiful um, orange butterfly and I am just going to get that finished and we'll move on. But first, I wanted to um, kind of explain what this collaborate or challenge is about. It's women supporting, or here's your crown, women supporting women. So it's, you are, you do at least one craft, and I'm only doing one today, that is inspired by somebody, another uh, female crafter that has helped you along your journey of YouTuber. So I have chose uh, CJ. Now, first of all, um, S Amanda from Six Kids and the Glue Gun is my co-host. And CJ is the one that I am highlighting and giving the, her crown to her. She is a fantastic person. She loves to help. She's always there to join in to help you, give you advice, and just she's an amazing friend and she's been there for me anytime i needed her for a long time so this is one of her crafts that she did um i'm not sure when i don't remember but this is my she's it's inspired by her so let's get right into this okay i'm taking bright blue from uh, apple barrel and white and i'm putting it on my um, palette and I am just mixing it as I'm going. I'm making a sky and if I don't have as much white then it looks darker. If I have more white or um, then it looks lighter and this is the only two colors I'm using and I kind of mix it right there on my palette. If I want clouds, um, really light clouds, I don't put very much uh, white in it. I mean I put more, yeah, if the brighter I want them, the more white I put, and you can see that there are um, clouds that are forming. Now, I'm going to go pretty much all the way down. I'm not sure if I go completely all the way, but I want to cover it pretty good because what I'm going to be putting at the bottom, I don't want to see another color. So... 
I'm just going all the way to the bottom with the blue and that way it will be more natural so yeah and I'm just going in and putting some more clouds or more uh, detail in the clouds there's so many different kinds of clouds that you can paint and this is just what my paintbrush made so it works then I'm going to grab uh, two colors of green and I'm going to put grass down on the bottom and with the grass it's mainly just putting my paintbrush down and then pulling up in different directions because most grass does not grow straight up it always kind of leans this way or that way and some does but if you want it to look natural like actual grass when you're painting it you want them going different directions and i do it with one color and then i change colors and i do a lighter color and then i'll go back with some darker colors the darker color and some of it i mix the two together to get this beautiful uh grass look this is going to look more natural if you do layer it like this it looks more 3d like it's not just painted across there and yeah that's it so this ends up making it look a lot uh, more natural now that I am finishing that up I am going to put my vinyl onto uh, this and I was first I was going to put the words on the bottom and I figured I wanted the words on the top I do use peel and stick as my um, transfer tape it helps it doesn't stick so much and doesn't pull off paint very much and it's fairly easy to transfer um, your vinyl to your surface so I just put the never hide your wings and then I'm putting the uh, butterfly right on there and then I'm going to paint more butterflies um, I and butterflies a lot of times flutter around together and um, I just love butterflies And you can see I put like the little bodies and now I'm just going to start painting all of the butterflies and getting their body shape in and then I will do details like fixing the center, putting the antennas on and all of that. Now I'm doing all the details, and before I forget to tell you, don't forget to go down to the description box. Down there's going to be the playlist link. My well, you don't need my link because you're on my channel, as well as Amanda's link and CJ's link 
to the video that I was inspired by. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a big old thumbs up. Hit that notification notification bell and click on all. That way you'll be notified. You should be notified of every time I upload a video. As well as um, leave me a comment. I just love to read the comments. So don't forget to call somebody today and tell them you love them. It might be exactly what they need to hear today. Also, you guys have the most blessed week, and don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and you guys all have a fantastic week. Bye.